Every month Valve releases the most played games on Steam Deck by hours played and we track this and give you a bit more info and some video content for it as well. You can check all of these games out on our website in the article with links and gameplay if we have it. So let's dive in then, a new entry at number 20 this week, Resident Evil 4, marked as playable on the Steam Deck and a time to beat of around 15 to 30 hours. At number 19 we have No Man's Sky. This is a re-entry to our list as it disappeared off of the top 20 in February with a time to beat of around 30 to 140 hours. Slay the Spire is in at number 18 down one place from February with a time to beat of around 11 to 207 hours. Persona 5 is in at number 17 down six places overall officially marked as verified with a time to beat of between 100 and 144 hours. Fallout 4 is in at number 16 down two places from last month with a time to beat around 27 to 158 hours officially marked as playable on the Steam Deck and we have some best settings for this as well. Monster Hunter Rise is in at number 15 down three places from last month with a time speed of around 21 to 155 hours officially marked as playable on the Steam Deck. At number 14 down one place The Binding of Isaac Rebirth officially verified on Steam Deck with a time to beat of anywhere between 5 and 280 hours depending on how much time you want to spend in this game it really will take a lot of your time. Number 13 down 5 places from last month the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Special Edition officially playable on the Steam Deck with a time to beat of anywhere between 25 and 209 hours. The Witcher 3 is in at number 12 down 6 places from last month Officially marked as verified on Steam Deck at a time to beat around 55 to 188 hours if you don't do all of the DLC as well. At number 11 down two places Hades verified on Steam Deck officially with a time to beat between 22 and 96 hours. It's a fantastic game to be playing on the Steam Deck. Rotato's in at number 10 holding its position from last month. Another game to whittle away the hours officially verified on Steam Deck with the time speed of anywhere between 4 and 50 hours. Up 6 places to number 9 is Cyberpunk 2077, verified on Steam Deck getting a lot more time last month with a time to beat of around 24 to 103 hours. At number 8 a new entry, Dead Cells, officially verified on Steam Deck with a time to beat anywhere between 14 and 86 hours. Holding firm at number 7 is Grand Theft Auto 5, officially playable on the Steam Deck and a time to beat of anywhere between 31 and 81 hours if you haven't downloaded the latest DLC. At number 6 down one place Red Dead Redemption 2, officially playable on the Steam Deck with a time to beat of anywhere between 50 and 180 hours. It's definitely one of the most popular on deck. At number 5 another new entry of Octopath Traveler 2 officially verified on the Steam Deck and a time to beat of anywhere between 60 and 91 hours. At number 4 down one place Vampire Survivors verified on Steam Deck and been in the top 20 list every month since the launch. Time to beat on this one we'll say 10 to 40 hours but it's pretty much as long as you can take it. At number 3 up one place Stardew Valley verified on Steam Deck an extremely chilled game which will take you around 52 to 156 hours to complete. No change in the top 2 this month though Elden Ring comes in at number 2 verified on Steam Deck with a time to beat of anywhere between 56 and 133 hours. Not moving from the top spot this month though is Hogwarts Legacy verified on the Steam Deck and a time to beat of anywhere between 25 and 64 hours. Let us know in the comments below if you've been playing any of these top 20 games and we'll see you in the next one. You have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and